All right, so just want to give a little breakdown of what's happened in the last three weeks. Um, so three weeks ago I was in Ecuador. I got my phone stolen. Put it in a stupid spot. Someone picked it up. A week after that, I was at the border of Ecuador and Peru. And uh, I was there at night and buses didn't come by until 8 a.m. in the morning. So I had to sleep on the sidewalk. And when I woke up, my entire bag was gone, which was a pain in the ass. So then I arrived at a place called Mancora in Peru. And I was at this really cool hostel called The Point. And I was doing a little bit of volunteer work there. Bought myself a phone, started to get a couple of things. And then I lost my phone on the beach. So I had to buy another phone. And then I lost that phone. But I was able to find that one. The, the guy called my friend and he told me where he was at, so I went to pick it up. So I only lost two phones, I didn't lose three. Here, but uh, I'm in a really cool spot right now at a really cool time. It's very mystical. Oh, um, I'm the only gringo here. I'm alone. And look at this. Here's the deal. I'm trying to get to this really deep part in the Amazonas, and um, I've been hitchhiking all day. For some reason, cars just stop passing at three o'clock. So now I'm kind of in between Cusco and the Amazon, where I want to get to. And it's late at night, surrounded by dogs, and uh, I have no place to stay. So I'm just sitting here, hoping that something will come. 
help myself in the, quite the situation. Because I didn't bring any things. I only have this little backpack. And it's starting to get pretty cold. So I'm hoping I'll survive the night. And then I won't die. <laughs> but um, hopefully it'll be all worth it. Because I didn't come here for nothing. I know there's something on the end of... There's light at the end of the tunnel. Hola. Hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo te llamas? Juan José. Juan José. ¿Es la primera vez que tú ves un gringo? ¿Tu estudio? Sí. Sí. Mountain, <laughs> <laughs>